Okay, what's going on everyone? I'm the OP Jellicent. Today I built a team with Zorark, which is a very interesting one because generally what you want to do is pair Zorark with Pokemon that take neutral hazards damage like Stealth Rocks, just like Zorark does because if I switch in a Ferrothorn and a Mayanshiao and it takes 12%, then it's pretty obvious Zorark is on the field, right? So that's the one drawback, but I do have a Defogger that's really reliable in Rotom Heat, and I think if I can defog as much as possible and just open up the door using Zorark for these other win conditions, that should be pretty easy. We have late game Mayanshiao with Scarf Reckless. A bit risky because a lot of ghost types like Aegislash and Dragapult are still in the metagame, despite like all the Sucker Punch being spammed from Urshifu and Cinderace, but I think Mayanshiao is good, we can catch them with a knockoff. It's Nasty Plot Togekiss with 240 speed because Bisharp it's 239 adamant and since Dracovish got banned you really don't need that extra speed anymore. Obviously max HP, max speed Rotom and Heavy Duty Boots SD Skullipede. I was thinking about putting Earthquake on here for Toxapex, but we have good ways to threaten that between the trick, the Nasty Plot, and the Nasty Plot here, so I think Super Powered Just a Dent opposing Ferrothorn is going to be better, even though we have a lot of coverage for it, and yeah, that'll be the team. Let's go ahead and get started. Alright, I have a game right here. My opponent has a really bulky team, but I don't see a Dark Resist, and I guess Dedenne is a fairy type, right? How fast is that? Dedenne. 101 speed. Why is that so fast? Okay, I think that the best thing to do is lead off with Zorark and disguise it as Mansho. And try to pick up an early kill. I could also go with Togekiss, but... I think he's gonna lead Pax. Maybe I just lead... Ferrothorn. Yeah, Ferrothorn's fine. And I'll disguise Zorark as Mansho here. Yeah, because he's going to lead Pex, obviously. I figured he would. I can go for a knockoff here, get rid of his item. He's going to go for the burn. And then I want to say I can throw up a leech seed. I do have a grounded poison type, which is making me less scared of this thing. He does get the burn the second time around, which is, you know, fair enough. I'll get up the rocks, though, and then I think I'm just going to start throwing off dark pulses and seeing what I can do with it. I'm going to knock this too, though. Like, what? So we get rid of Helmet, meaning it is Fizz Daff, which is good to know. I think he would go for the Leech Seed here, right? Hmm, what do I want to do about that? Because my Ferrothorn is really low, which... Honestly, I don't care about that. Like, the fact that my Ferrothorn lo is low is the least of my worries. I'm not going to go Rotom, because Rotom can pretty easily win. I kind of want to go Mayanshao first. As Corviknight comes in. I'm just going to knock this. As he wants to defog, okay. And then he would U-turn here, right? So let's go to... Let's go to you. He actually does want to roost. So I'm going to throw off a lead sheet. Start to get some recovery. He has body press though, which is bad. Because I think he could click that again here. But he opts to withdraw to Deden. So I'm going to attack Deden because I want to weaken it for Dark Pulse. And we're missing and getting toxic. That's not very good. Yeah, now, now I have to play mind games with Hippo. That's such a pain. He goes Milk Tank, though. So this thing gets thick fat, right? Let's Volt out here. I don't think it's going Hippo now. Ah, this could get annoying. If he goes Hippo here, I'm probably going to lose. But I don't think he will. Yeah, he's going to stay in. I do a ton. Jeez. That actually did so much. We'll get this in on the Milk Drink. And I'm going to really hope he doesn't have a way to knock me out. That's basically what I'm banking on here. And yeah, we're going to try to get in Togekiss then. If that's how it is, then I think this is the thing to do. Flamethrower immediately. If he's going to go for U-turn to try to get into Den, I would rather... Well, the thing is, my Rotom outsped Deden, right? Meaning if I Nasty Plot right here, I could just win with this if Deden dies. How bulky is that Mon? Because I think I'm willing to go for that, but I, if I have to damage it first, I will. 67 Spadef, even if it's, well, that's no bulk at all. I don't know if I want to go for that right now. Okay, so it takes that much. I really can't let this get toxic, but now that I know it takes so much, basically once I Nasty Plot with this, assuming I don't get insanely unlucky against Toxapex, I should win. So he kind of has to Toxic here. I'm going to go Rotom. He actually opts to recycle it, but that doesn't matter because, like, now that I know that it's going to get O-Code by Flamethrower, I don't care. Oh, wait, that was a crit. Um, yeah, I should be a bit more careful, because that could mess me up. I might have to Nasty Plot twice. Either way, though, I think this is the play. Get in Pharaoh. Even if it dies, that's whatever. 
Yeah, so that was a crit, which is a pain because I might have to go for the flinch in that case. Flinch it into flamethrower and that's how I win. Yeah, we're gonna have to do that. So I think here what I'm gonna do is go with Zorark. Obviously it looks like my end shell, so I want a Dark Pulse here. And I think he would go Hippo or Pax initially, right? So this is what I want to hit. Yeah, there's the Pax. This is gonna take a lot. It really didn't take that much, huh? <laughs> well, I can try to hit it again. Maybe I get a bit of a flinch here. You never know. I need to find out whether it has Toxic though, because if it doesn't, that's Togekiss setup fodder. He's really not getting a ton out of this. Like the moment I flinch him or he doesn't click recover, then I basically force a kill on somebody else. So he didn't get the Citrus right there. I want to keep him at that percentage. Parabolic charge. Okay, that's fine. I want to keep him at that percentage because that means plus two overheat will kill him. Let's get out of here. Go to this one. Go for U-turn. Pex. I can't set up with Togekiss unless I know it's toxic, so... Unless I know it doesn't have toxic, I mean. So we're gonna go Zerotum here. I guess Zerotum's in my last spot now. And I think I'm just going to trick this. Okay, we end up tricking Miltank. Meaning, depending on what this locks, I might be able to set up with Togekiss. Let's see. I just have to get not lucky, I mean, not unlucky with Togekiss, and this game is mine. Because everybody dies, like... This shouldn't be faster than me, I don't think it would... Like, I know it has base 100 speed, but it's clearly a very bulky variant. I got Dedenne in range of plus 2 flamethrower, and since my Rotom outsped it, I think that means my Togekiss will. My Rotom is a lot faster, though, to be fair. I don't know if it's actually, like, worth trying to risk that yet. I can't get rid of it, though. That's the thing. Like, there's no way I'm getting rid of that Mon. How much is min speed Dedenne? Assuming he has no speed on it. It's still too fast. It's gonna hit, uh, 238. Never mind, if it's no speed at all, I outspeed it. With Togekiss and nice speed. I think I have to hope that it's no speed then, because I don't see another way around this thing. He locks Earthquake. Alright, well, this is the turn to go for it, right? Like, I don't see another play. He goes to Den. Let's see how fast he is. He's fast enough, but he went for Parabolic Charge instead of Toxic. That was definitely a misplay. He should have clicked Toxic and tried to hit, so he had a bit of speed. I don't know how much, but now I just have to spam Air Slash, and if I flinch everything once, it's my game. And he breaks through immediately. <laughs> Sounds about right. Well, that's probably game. I don't think I can win now. Unless I can SD up with Scullipede, but I don't think that's happening. I kill Corviknight, so there's something happening here, but I don't think that's going to be enough alone. Baneful Bunker. And he even gets the recover off. Yeah, that's a game. I think. Um, if I don't get burned, can I win? Depends on how much Megahorn would do. Alright, here's what I'm thinking. We're going to do this. We're going to Volt out. Actually, we're going to Nasty... No, we're just going to Volt. Go to this, on the recover. Yeah, I needed to flinch the Hippo there, and then I would have been able to win with the Togekiss. I don't know why he didn't click Toxic with Dedenne, though. That was so confusing. Okay, well, if I don't get burned, I win, I think. because But I have to not get burned multiple turns in a row. No burn there. How much am I doing, exactly? I can't get toxic That's the thing. Toxapex. How much do you take? Nothing at all. He opts to switch it out. For what reason? I'm gonna kill you. Hmm. I don't like my odds. Okay, well, it's down to this. He does have Haze. Why did he not click 
case before. Dude, I don't know what he's doing, but I'm gonna SD up. Hit him again. I think I have to SD up again, right? I'm literally gonna lose to this Pex in the end. <laughs> I need to crit it, I think. I mean, I'm not missing, which is great, but I'm not really getting anywhere here. Yeah, I see what he's trying to do. He's trying to get it to a point where he can scald me. I did get the crit, though. How much worse is my neutral Negahorn doing? It's not doing anywhere near enough, right? That's plus four doing that much. 15 to 18. Wait, but he's spadef. Dude. Why? That's actually so painful. I crit it again, but that, that's nowhere near in range. Like, I can't do 36. <laughs> Dude, I can't believe it lived on one. I get another crit. And we knock it out. Okay. I'll be right back. So I have another game right here. Obviously, my Skullipede got really lucky against the Tox effects, but... To be fair, my opponent did misplay against my Togekiss and then break through immediately with a Powdon, so I think that kind of evens out. Like, if I flinch Hippo right there, I don't think I, he can win because everybody else would have been in range. And we saw that the Toxabex didn't have Toxic at that painful bunker, right? So he would have had to haze, but Nasty Plot Togekiss would 1v1 it and win the game anyway. So I don't know. Let's go ahead and play this guy. I think another Toxabex, man. <laughs> Gotta love those. And Double Fairy. I think Togekiss is good again, but I need to really call the double steals. His Urshifu is a dark type, which is probably the one I want to see, to be honest. Let's go ahead and lead. Hmm. I don't hate the idea of leading off with Mayan Shao. In fact, I will. And then we'll disguise Togekiss, I mean Zorark as Togekiss, I think. Because... If, he has to if I have Togekiss in, he would probably go out into a steel type, and that could be my way to weaken them, so... Let's do that, yeah. Select Togekiss's last, and go from there. So he leads off with a drill. I guess if it's Sash, he could stay in. I think my best play is just a U-turn out into Pharaoh. Although Pharaoh's health is good, and like knocking off or body pressing or Shifu could be my way of beating it. I think he would go Pex anyway. So I don't want to like give up momentum like that. Um... I'm gonna go Pharaoh here, and the reason is I don't want to let anybody get toxic. I need to scout its move. That's the thing with Pex, right? You always have to scout its move. You can't just throw out your offensive mons and let them all get put on a timer, right? That's how you lose games. So I actually do bring in the Urshifu. I'm gonna body press it. That's the whole point of this set, right? Take the close combat and then body press it. As he goes for U-turn and takes Iron Barbs, and now I get a knockoff into somebody. Oh wait, I click body press, right? I'm gonna go Rotom here. He just goes Varus Slash, and now I'm kind of in a commanding position where... He should go Pex or Clef, so I'm going to Nasty Plot. Yeah, you don't go Drill there. But he would Teleport here, right? And I miss, and he gets a Brox. Let's get rid of those. Um, I don't know if he's unaware or not. I don't think he is, which is why that's so annoying. Why did he soft boil that full? Okay, let's find out what, what you are. Like, are you unaware or Magic Guard? Are you going to go Pex this turn? Should I Volt? Nah, dude, Volt's totally not the play. I should just overheat. Dude, I totally want to Volt, though, on the packs. Like, if I killed it, I would probably win with my Shower Skullipede. Is that worth the risk, though? Like, I feel like I, if I just take the kill on Clef, I could do more work with Togekiss and Zorar. I don't think he's unaware. Like, if he was unaware, he wouldn't be thinking here. So, what do I want to do? The thing is, even if he goes packs, I still have the plus two Volt switch to throw out and play mind games with, so I'm going to overheat first. I don't know. This could be like a game-winning turn if I get it right. I want him to pick his move first. That's the thing. I want to click my move and then see it go off. Mm. I can't miss this because of the evasion drop, I don't think. So it's really just a matter of... Hmm... If I vaulted and he stayed in, I would do around 60. He would probably soft world. No, I'm just going to lock overheat. Whatever. 
Ah, I should have went for the should have gone for the bolt and I probably would have won that turn. I don't know, those are tough, but I can try to double overheat and pick up a KO. I still have a chance to pick up a KO if I get the play right, and I don't think I'm gonna do it. I think I'm gonna volt here. I don't wanna get both plays wrong, dude. Like I don't wanna lose my game wing turn here. If I volt switched and he switched out into drill, I would probably lose. Like I don't think I have an earthquake switch in and I'm just gonna nasty plot again, whatever. I feel like he's going back to Kalef. And I wanna force the situation again. Ah, we got it wrong. <laughs> oh wait a minute, but I forced the kill anyway here because overheat did way too much. Okay, well I think I made the correct play then. Um, unfortunately, my Rotom is really low, which isn't very good, obviously, but I get a kill no matter what, which is, like, really good for me. But it sucks. I could have gotten so much more out of this if I just clicked Volt right there or Overheat or Volt the previous turn. It's fine, though. We can still try to do this. So, like, I'm getting a kill here whether he likes it or not, which... Well, I say that, but I could still miss the Overheat again. He's like getting low on timer, so he gives me the Pex, okay. I would have definitely given me like... Drill or something. I don't know, Drill is good, but like it doesn't outspeed any of my offensive guys other than Togekiss itself. Out comes their Shifu. Mm, wicked Blow could come out. I don't really know what's bad necessarily, like I think I like my Enshao at this point. The 33% Rotom is still decent, but like... Doesn't outspeed any of the offense, so I'm just gonna overheat. Maybe he's adamant too, and I just outspeed him, right? You never know. <laughs> well, I'm getting another kill now because he did that. Actually, this might live. Yeah, it takes it so easily. I forgot that it's Clefable. Like, what was I thinking? Me getting a kill? He goes for the drill switch. Alright, fair enough. But I have Clef low. Probably not low enough for two Zorar kits, though, which is the issue, but. If I can force damage on Togekiss, my Enshao probably sweeps. Alright, we're gonna make some plays here that I might regret. Let's do it. Let's go to this, and then into this. I have Body Press, I'm obviously trapped in, so if he, if he subs here I can break it, but... I would love to put this in range of, like, Zorark anyway. So it was Togekiss. I'm pretty sure I Body Pressed this earlier in the game too, right? <laughs> Uh, Rotom, are you a good play? I feel like you're probably a good play. Hey, Slash. I'm just gonna overheat. Okay, well, that's good damage for my Anshao. I think my Anshao can win pretty soon, actually. Right here, though. Actually, doesn't my Scolipede just win? He's not Scarf on this. Dude, I feel like Scolipede kind of just wins. Like, should I just go for that? SD up in front of Clef and do it? I guess that's what we do, right? Like, I have to find good setup fodder, but I think Clef is that setup fodder, so let's go Zorark. Which he thinks is fair, Thorn. I think the best mid-ground is Flamethrower. Okay, I didn't knock it out, though, and he has a Roost, so that's bad. If that's the case. Let's go to this. I'm gonna try to flinch me to death. I should have sludge bombed. I think he could, I think he would have gone to zone though as the mid ground because I don't know, that made sense in my, the way I see it, I don't know. But I'm just gonna get up my rocks and then try to knock off. Okay, not the best, but not the worst. I'm just gonna go out into this now and sludge bomb it. I get a crit into it, which is really nice. I'm not gonna let it roost because at this point I sweep with high jump kick. Yeah, dude, go out into a steal, I don't care. Yeah, I'm not going to let it roost, and he clearly wanted me to let it roost. That's fine. I mean, it's it's bad, but like, even if he spun, then I just wanted to get in for free. The thing is, my Anshao's health doesn't matter. I just needed to hit. I guess Sucker Punch could be annoying, but like... Let's hit that there. See what he wants to do next. Maybe Clef, but I think he's going to try to Sucker Punch me, right? I have Super Power on Skullipede, which will take a Sucker Punch. I think this just dies, dude. Like, what are you doing? Oh, it doesn't. But, like I said, the moment the Clef is in, I get to SD up here. Unless he's Thunder Wave 4th slot, but he's already shown all his 4 moves. 
Yeah, it goes for knockoff, but that's not going to stop me. And I, I'm pretty sure I still live the flame there at the Sucker Punch because he's not life orb anymore. Oh, wait, but if he switches out, takes the defensive drop. No, he's just going to try to Sucker Punch, right? Yeah, but I take it so easily. And uh, that's going to be GG right here. Scallopede's going to win. I don't know. I don't think the Zorar Flamethrower was a misplay necessarily. But anyway, I'll be right back. So I have another game right here. My opponent has doubled Grass, which is interesting. I definitely think Zorark is very good spamming Dark Pulse, but his Cinderace does a lot of work for him. And the problem is my Mayan Shao is my check to it because I can take Sucker Punch with it, but he has double Ghost in return, right? So... I don't know, we'll have to probably make some pretty offensive maneuvers around his team. Unless he is not Lightning Rod Marowak, in which case the Rotom could Volt on it, but I feel like he has to be. Okay, here's what I'm thinking. If he's going to try to go Ghosts or Tangrowth on my Zorark, I want to disguise Zorark as my... On my Mayan Shao, I want to disguise Zorark as it, so... Let's lead off with... He's going to lead off with Dragapult, I think. Let's lead... Togekiss, and let's disguise Zorark as Mayan Shao. Yeah, he does lead Dragapult. I figured it would be because, like, it outspeeds my entire team, especially if it's the Scarfer, and, like, by doing this, I can just throw off Air Slash here. I basically force the U-turn and a good amount of damage on something. Could have also Flamethrowered into Pharaoh, but, like, I don't think it was worth it. So right here, he's probably going to go, like, Marowak. I don't know. Maybe Cinderace, but I'm going to Flame. Go Cinderace, yeah. So he's making some good maneuvers here. I think in return... I'm just gonna make the road and play it to my Parabola. That's really bad for him, dude. That actually sucks, like... That's so lame. I'm gonna go for Overheat. Take the kill on that thing. That was his biggest threat, and he just missed with it. I didn't think he would high jump kick, though, like, immediately. That's really risky. But no excuses, right? Like, I got really lucky with that miss, because... Now he really can't spam Parable. I think, to be fair, he should have just gone for Parable first. Like, you don't risk that Mon that early on, but... Obviously, it would have worked out for him. Uh, the problem is he has another Cinderace. It's just a slower one, so that works out for me. The thing is, who do I want to take on the slower Cinderace with? I think I keep this for sure. Like, Overheat's pretty good. I could sack Pharaoh. I don't actually think Pharaoh is doing anything here. Like... I can still keep this to check the scissor. I just have to make sure it doesn't take damage. Yeah, and then I just go start... I just go Zorark and start clicking Dark Pulse. That's the thing. He might think I'm like Banded Knockoff with a Mayan Shao right now, but it should be obvious I'm a Zorark. Yeah, that takes 92. These are all Fizz Def right now, so... I basically force damage on Pharaoh. Actually, Pharaoh might just get 2 hit KO if I'm being honest. Dragapult. I can go... Togekiss again. He's gonna get in the Scissor, and I think the thing about Scissor is, does it kill me with Bullet Punch? I'm assuming it does. I don't want to go hard to Rotom, because if Rotom gets put in range of Bullet Punch, that's how I get swept by it, so... I think the best thing to do is maybe just sack off Scullipede, because it doesn't break through Dragapult or Marowak anyway, like... He goes for a knockoff. If I clicked uh, Flamethrower there, I would have won, probably. Is that even Banded? I honestly have no idea. I think he is banded, which sucks because now I'm kind of compromising the situation. Not really though, because don't I go to Zorark here, force another kill with the Dark Pulse. I don't know, I don't want to get swept by Scissor, but I think I can guarantee that I don't. That did no damage though, oh, that's a problem. If he's body pressed, do I stay in? I could commit to the Togekiss when, or maybe knock off. I think I'm going to leave it in and take the 2 at KO. I don't think Rock's worth the play, dude. Like, that's not going to put me in range of anybody. The play... Does Mancha take a Banded Bullet Punch? I mean, does Zorark take a Banded Bullet Punch? Because if it doesn't, I might just sack it here. Scizor. It does die. He is Banded, right? Let me just double check the Scullipede Calc. He went for a knockoff. Yep, banded, okay. Interesting. Does Mayan Shao take it? Mayan Shao also dies, so Rotom's gonna have to be what kills the scissor. The problem is, what's if it's a Dragapult? No, the play is Togekiss, for sure. He's gonna U-turn to the scissor, I'm gonna have to sack somebody else, which is fine, I don't care. 
Yeah, he's gonna go scissor here. This time he just throws off a bullet punch. Unless I think Rotom can take two of them. Like, do I want to risk it coming in here? It takes nothing, but like, I'm gonna find the... If he tries to double in Dragapult, yeah. I mean, the thing is, I have to make the play eventually, because if he does hit Rotom, then I get swept, so... That is Specs, which is good to know. I should have spammed Roost, but it's fine. I don't think it'll matter at this point. I think with the maneuver I made right there, I should be good. Because I'm gonna give him this. I still have Scarf Mayan Shao, so I go I go Mayan Shao here, Mayan Shao in coats. Click Dark Pulse. He should Shadow Ball here to, like, put me low, right? But the thing is, he's put himself in a spot where he has to lock Bullet Punch now, which is gonna allow my... Never mind, I lost. <laughs> yeah, I needed that kill to force him to go Scissor. I think, right? Because I have to, I can knock off here, but then... Sex Marowak instead. Yeah, I, I lost because of that, because... Okay, let's think. If I hit the Scissor... Ah, that's annoying. I think I could have guaranteed the win if I just... Didn't get crit. Because I kill it, he goes Scissor, I sack off that. I sack off the Zora, go Rotom, Nasty Plot, Force the win, right? That's what would have happened. Marowak does not take plus two overheat. But now... He's gonna go for knockoff, right? But I have to play off his choke. Yeah, but like, if he clicks knockoff, he outspeeds me with the Dragapult anyway, right? Doesn't make a difference. But now he's just gonna switch out, come back in, and bullet punch me, and that's gonna be it. Man, that sucks. Like, I, I would have won this game if I was able to not get crit with Zorark, but it's fine. It happens, I'll be right back. So I have another game right here. One thing I considered is putting Rock Slide on my Mayan Shao for the Volcaronas, but I opted not to do that, and I hope it doesn't cost me this game, but I feel like it might. Let's go ahead and lead off with... With my Anshao and Disguise Zorark as Togekiss, I think. I want to make sure that Volcarona doesn't set up on anybody. Um, no, that's not the correct Pokemon. There we go. So I'm able to U-turn against this Mon. Bring out... This. I want to say get a Barox. He might just go Volcarona here and win. Like, he also has Ozzy, which is such a pain. But I do get up the rocks, which is something. We'll go back to this and... I jump kick it this time to knock it out. Okay. Risky because he has a Dragapult, but like... We risk those. <laughs> Did watch him not be boots and that's how I beat them on. I would just laugh if that's how my check works out. Is this dude, I feel like this is a dragon dance. I'm gonna go Pharaoh instead of Togekiss. Because if it is Dragon Dance, then Yeah, like he tries to steal wing me there, which is good for me because he's not able to do so. Dude, I really think I think I just lose to Volk. Like I'm trying to figure out how I don't. I guess I'm going hard into it is one way. I'm going hard my end shot because if I want to beat it, I have to high jump kick it. I feel like high jump kick will kill from 55, but I need him to quiver dance instead of attacking. Which he did, and now I just have to... Hit, and there's the thread gone. I don't care about the fact that I got burned. Uh, how do I beat Azu? Oh my god, dude, there's so many threats. I think I don't beat Azu. Okay, but he goes Togekiss. I have to beat that thing before it sets up on me. Ferrothorn checks Bisharp, assuming I can take plus two hit. Do I defog? Yeah, I feel like I should defog. Dragapult. If he darts, that's fine, but I don't want him beating for free. Yeah, exactly. Now I go to this guy, click knockoff to try to knock him out, I guess. Which I'm able to do. I don't know if, like, I could lose to Azu right here. But he once again goes Togekiss. So I think the goal is... Get in Scullipede as soon as possible. Rocks would have been really golden there. Like, I don't know if Azu dies and that's the big thing. Oh, 
Oh, that's Scarf. Um, probably should have considered that a bit more. Well, in that case, I don't see a choice. I have to go to this and break through once. He might try to hard switch out. I don't think he will, though. Okay, well, I have to break through once. I think if I do break through, I still win the game. Because how healthy is my Ensho? 65. Togekiss checks the last two. I just have to beat the Togekiss here. Which, if I'm able to... Do using... Rotom into my Enshao. Okay, so we opt the switch, which is probably better for me. Yeah, I'm making this play here. Um, I might have to get lucky against Azu too. I'm really strong though. If Azu belly drums, it's over, right? That's the thing. Wait, why is he so fast? Okay, but I broke through, which is the more important thing. So now I think... He's going to go Azu and Aqua Jet, then I think I can go with Zorark. Oh, he actually commits to Togekiss first, huh? Okay. Weird play. I think I would have gone out into the other guy. So now I do this, click Sludge Bomb. Obviously he knows it's a Zorark, right? Like, it's so obvious. Now I just have to break through with Rotom once and Volt Switch into my Anshaw and Poison Jab it. And if this breaks through right here, it's also game, yeah. So that's going to be able to knock out the Togekiss, and yeah, I'll be right back. So I think this guy might have just loaded up his pre-DLC team. We need to use new mons anyway, right? Let's go ahead and lead off with... Cinderace is a pain. I mean, I got lucky against a Cinderace a couple of games ago by dodging Pyro Ball, and I still ended up losing, so... That's probably not a good sign, but we can try to beat this one. Let's lead my Anshao and disguise Zorark as Togekiss, I think. Because if he's gonna go anything on Togekiss, it would be the Cinderace, and that's what I want dead. Yeah, he's gonna try to get up rocks with this. I think I'm gonna U-turn because I don't want him going hard Dragapult. Corbinite's cool. I can actually go Rotom on that, and I want to say just overheat immediately. Without really overthinking it. This is gonna take a decent amount. Yeah, it takes quite a bit, like more than I thought, to be honest. Um, he might go Mamo now, which I'm not so sure I want to be up against, so I'm going to go Pharaoh. Yeah. And then what I can do is get up rocks, because if the Cinderace is like banded or something, I need it dead. So he tries to flinch me immediately. <laughs> or he just wants damage for Toxtricity is the other thing to keep in mind. So it is Boots, he went hard into it. Dude, I'm just going to attack it again. I dodge again. Wow, I can just see these cinder races aren't getting very lucky. And then let's defog everything here. Okay, so now when I get up rocks, the rocks are here to stay. So let's go Pharaoh. Stone Edge. Yeah, he goes hard into it. Okay, fair play, fair play. Let's keep it around, though. I think he's not going to court change. I think he's going to go for Pyra Ball. Yeah. And I can overheat now and try to get a crit. I mean, I dodged. What can I really... I can't really complain there, right? Like, I got way luckier than he did. Okay, now I'm getting really unlucky. <laughs> Like, my defogger is dead, he got the court change, and I even got the player right. <laughs> I guess he's gonna take his free Dragapult switch now? Dude, that's actually annoying though, like... I got lucky with the Pyro Ball miss, I shouldn't have had hazards up, but... I don't know how it balances out, I mean, I'm not gonna Ethereum on it. Annoying though, that's all I can say about that, like... I need to get my rocks back up to kill that thing as soon as possible. You're really gonna bulk up on me? Okay, now somebody can take a plus two flamethrower. How about that? <laughs> Wait, does he lose? Not if this is Thunder Wave, which I don't want to take here. Just goes for Drain Punch. I don't really get it. 
Well, I could have just knocked that out there and put in a ton of work, but unfortunately, I kind of forgot that. I, I didn't want to take a Thunder Wave there. Like, I'm not a Dark type. Revenge Dodge, maybe? Nah, okay. Okay, but I got rid of it in the end, which is, I think, the more important thing. If he goes Shift Gear Toxtricity, I have to go Zoroark to take the hit, I think. Which I think it will, don't get me wrong, but... I wonder what his Mammo is, by the way, because it's only... He's played it like it's Scarf, I think, right? He hasn't switched up moves yet. And if it is Scarf, that's really bad, because I have to keep my Anshia and I try to high Jump Kick it, but when am I going to high Jump Kick it when I drag a Bolts around? He's been very careful with the Dragapult, is what I've realized. If he goes Mammo, I might just try to knock it in case it's Scarfed. That, so that way, like, other mons can outspeed. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna knock. If it's Scarf, I want the Scarf gone. Okay, I think he's Banded then. I guess I could just Calc it. How much did he do? No, there's no way he did Banded damage to my Pharaoh. 28's not Banded. There's some way a banded Mammoth Swine is doing 28 at Scarf, right? Or it's just like Metronome or something, I have no idea. It was Sash the entire time, okay. Well, I see a win con for me. It involves him staying in here. Okay, well, if I can out if I can flinch Toxtricity to death with Togekiss and Nasty Plot up, I can win. I don't think Dragapult will be able to take me on. Hmm, come on, let's pick up this W. How about that? Poison? Oh, but he's a Dragon Man. So yeah, I think that. Oh wait, but I would speed here. I don't think that'll matter though. Because if he has Steel Wing, then I'm dead anyway, right? So I need him to miss stealing right here. Unless he actually doesn't have it. Is he Sucker Punch? He's dead. I think if I flinch Toxtricity once, I win the game anyway. Unless a Flamethrower um, can do the job on its own. I don't know what sort of set he is. I'm just going to assume he's no bulk. Oh, he's Scarf. <laughs> yeah, wait, or he's just max speed, I don't know. He could just be timid specs or something like that. But anyway, that's gonna be that. Uh, not my strongest live, I think. I think I went like 3-3, three and three, like 3-2, three and two, something like that. But it's fine, I guess. We'll try to do better tomorrow, and I'll see you guys next time. Later.